Spinel is an excellent candidate for the title of the most underestimated gemstone in history. It is a mineral, often overshadowed by its more renowned counterparts, possesses a mesmerizing array of colors, and an illustrious history that rivals any other gem. Known for its exceptional hardness and brilliance, the spinel has adorned the crowns and treasures of emperors, kings, and queens throughout centuries. Spinel itself is powerful and strong, captivating with its beauty anyone fortunate enough to catch even a glimpse of one of these natural wonders. Some ancient mines that supplied precious stones to royal courts from Rome to China yielded spinel, but it was often mistaken for more well-known gems such as ruby and sapphire. In ancient times, the mines of Central and Southeast Asia produced exceptionally large spinel crystals. These magnificent stones became known as balas rubies, and some of them were the prized possessions of kings and emperors, often changing hands as spoils of war. As a result, some of the most celebrated rubies in the world are actually spinels. In this video, I will introduce you to the most significant spinels in history. Many of these gemstones are known as rubies, but they are, in fact, spinels. We will examine these famous stones in order, from the smallest to the largest specimen in the world, measured in carats. Before we begin, please support my channel by clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you. The Hope Spinel The Hope Spinel, weighing 50.13 carats, is a stunning addition to the legendary Hope Collection, renowned for its extraordinary gemstones. The Hope Spinel is an exquisite pink gem, reminiscent of a small plum in size, set in a brooch. Although the Hope Spinel is not exceptionally large, its incredible transparency and flawless cut allow it to be classified as an exceptional treasure. It appears that this rare spinel was discovered in the ancient mines of Kui Lal in Tajikistan, the source of other famous stones such as the Black Prince's Ruby and the Timur Ruby, we will discuss these gems in more detail later. These historic mines are geographically remote, and by the 20th century, they were not in use due to political reasons. As a result, spinels of this size and quality are exceptionally rare, even without considering the provenance of the Hope Spinel. This gemstone was part of one of the most significant gem collections in the world, amassed by Henry Philip Hope. After Hope's death, the spinel remained in his family's collection until 1917, when it was sold, marking the end of the Hope family's ownership. Later, it became part of the collection of Lady Georgiana Mount Stephen, a close friend of Queen Mary. Subsequently, Lady Mount Stephen bequeathed the spinel to her niece Evelyn Refford upon her death in 1933, who, in turn, passed it on to her granddaughter. An incredible 98 years after its last auction sale, the Hope Spinel was once again put up for sale. Unsurprisingly, on September 24, 2015, this rare gemstone, shrouded in history and intrigue, was sold at Bonham's auction in London for a record-breaking price of $30,000 per carat, nearly doubling the previous world record and confirming its place among the most valuable and coveted jewels in the world. The ruby spinel, known as the Côte de Bretagne. The French Crown Jewels Collection has been divided multiple times throughout the country's tumultuous political history, but one of the oldest pieces in the collection, the Côte de Bretagne spinel, remains in Paris to this day. This stone has been known since the 15th century and originally belonged to the Dukes of Brittany, but later found its way into the Bourbon treasury through familial marriages. In 1750, Louis XV, riding the wave of interest in Oriental style, ordered the round stone to be carved into a dragon figurine. During the carving process, the spinel's weight was reduced by half, from 200 carats to just over 100. The carved stone was intended to be the centerpiece of the Order of the Golden Fleece. Slightly below the spinel in this insignia, a large dark blue diamond was placed believed to be the famous Hope Diamond in its original cut. Carved in the shape of a dragon, the spinel formed the center of the composition of the Order of the Golden Fleece. The dragon breathed fire, laid out with a hundred diamonds and backed with red foil. 
The canonical elements of the Order of the Golden Fleece were the images of Flint and Fire Striker, the heraldic symbols of the Order's founder, the Duke of Burgundy. In the insignia intended for Louis XV, the blue diamond played the role of the flint burning in tongues of flame, while the carved spinel dragon was the fire striker igniting the fire. After the French Revolution, the treasures of the Bourbons were plundered, the emblem of the Order of Louis XV disappeared, and a few years later, a blue diamond, strikingly similar to the triangular gem from the emblem but recut, appeared at an auction in London. It then became clear that the emblem of the French king had vanished irretrievably and had been dismantled for its stones. Fortunately, the carved spinel was also found. Sometime later, it was seen in Hamburg with one of the jewelers. After negotiations, the French treasury managed to buy it back for a very considerable sum. After the Third French Revolution, there was another attempt to sell the spinel, but no buyer was found. Thus, the Côte de Bretagne spinel still adorns the Louvre's collection of precious stones to this day. The Black Prince's Ruby, a 170-carat spinel, is one of the most renowned gemstones in the British crown jewels. Its history is steeped in intrigue, conflict, and royal legacy, dating back to its origins in the ancient mines of Badakhshan, Central Asia. Initially mistaken for a ruby, this spinel's journey through history is marked by its significance in various royal collections and pivotal historical events. The gem's recorded history begins in the 1360s in Granada, Spain, then an independent kingdom. Sultan Muhammad VI of Granada, also known as Abu Sayyid, possessed the spinel during a tumultuous period. In 1362, Muhammad, facing challenges to his rule, fled to Seville with the gemstone, seeking assistance from King Pedro I of Castile to reclaim his throne. However, Pedro, allied with Muhammad's rival, ultimately murdered him and seized the spinel. The gemstone soon found its way to Edward of Woodstock, known as the Black Prince, during his military campaign in Castile. In 1367, Edward assisted Pedro in defeating his half-brother Enrique in the Battle of Najera. Unable to repay Edward for his military support, Pedro gifted the large spinel, which then became known as the Black Prince's Ruby. Following Edward's death in 1376, the spinel was inherited by his son, King Richard II, and subsequently passed down to King Henry IV after Richard's deposition in 1399. The gem next emerged in historical records during the reign of King Henry V. In 1415, Henry V wore the Black Prince's ruby in his helmet at the Battle of Agincourt, where it remarkably survived a direct blow battle axe. This event solidified the gem's legendary status. The Black Prince's ruby continued to be an integral part of the English crown jewels. By 1521, it was listed in an inventory of King Henry VIII jewels, suggesting it remained within the royal collection through tumultuous times. In 1838, Queen Victoria had the Black Prince's ruby set prominently in the front of her new imperial state crown. The gem has adorned various versions of the crown ever since. Today, this magnificent spinel adorns the front cross of the imperial state crown, which the monarch dons for the grand state opening of parliament. In the past, the spinel was drilled to be worn as a pendant. Now, a small cabochon ruby fills the hole, adding a touch of regal elegance to this already impressive gem. The Timur Ruby. The Timur Ruby, a 361 carat spinel in the British Royal Collection, boasts a rich and complex history Originally thought to be a ruby, it was named after Timur, Tamerlane, the founder of the Timurid Empire. The gem, inscribed with the names of various Mughal emperors, traveled through India, Iran, and Afghanistan before arriving in England. It became part of the British crown jewels after the British East India Company annexed the Punjab region in the mid-19th century. The spinel, initially owned by Timur, later became a prized possession of Mughal emperors such as Jahangir and Shah Jahan. By the early 19th century, it was part of the Sikh Empire's treasury under Maharaja Ranjit Singh. 
After his son, Sher Singh, was assassinated, his younger brother, Duleep Singh, inherited the gem. Following the British annexation of Punjab, the Timur ruby, along with the Koh i Noor diamond, was taken to England. This transaction remains incredibly controversial to this day, with some depicting it as a gift exchange, others interpreting it as a part of a military treaty negotiation, and even others arguing that it was outright theft. In 1851, the gemstone was identified as a spinel, and a new golden diamond necklace was crafted for Queen Victoria by the crown jeweler, Gerard. Despite its rarity and historical significance, the Timur ruby necklace has seldom been worn. Due to its controversial history, it is unlikely that the Timur ruby will be publicly worn by any royal family member in the future. Catherine the Great's Spinel The resplendent centerpiece of the Russian imperial crown, Catherine the Great's famed ruby holds a place of distinction amongst the seven historic stones, the most treasured and rare gems within the Russian royal collection. This extraordinary collection, initiated by Peter the Great and known today as the Diamond Fund, was meticulously expanded upon by subsequent czars, always remaining the property of the state. While captivating in its fiery brilliance, the ruby is, in fact, a magnificent red spinel, weighing an impressive 398.72 carats and boasting the title of the second largest in the world. This particular gem embarked on its journey to Russia in 1676, acquired in China by the astute Russian envoy Nikolai Spafari during delicate trade negotiations with the emperor. The spinel's history, however, stretches back even further, shrouded in captivating legend. It is said that in the 14th century, amidst the turbulent reign of the Turkic conqueror Timur, a Chinese mercenary named Chun Li unearthed the gem in the fabled mines of Badakhshan, where he had sought refuge after a transgression involving stolen gems in Samarkand. Hoping to secure a pardon, Chun Li attempted to present the remarkable stone to the emperor. Tragically, his efforts were thwarted by a covetous palace guard who, upon seizing the spinel for himself, met his own demise when his treachery was unveiled. In 1762, as Catherine the Great prepared for her coronation, she commissioned the creation of the awe-inspiring imperial crown. Entrusted to the skilled hands of court jeweler Jeremy Pawsey, the crown incorporated the illustrious spinel, previously adorning an earlier crown, and was further embellished with other dazzling jewels from the royal collection. The crown last appeared at the coronation of Nicholas II in 1896, although it also attended the state opening of the Duma in 1906. The crown, along with its captivating centerpiece, was carefully concealed following the revolution, preserving its legacy for generations to come. This magnificent crown, with its massive red spinel, is now on display in the Moscow Kremlin Armory, the State Diamond Fund. The Sumerian Spinel The largest known spinel is housed in the Central Bank of Iran in Tehran. The 500-carat dark red stone the size of a goose egg was previously considered an enormous ruby, like many famous spinels. The stone has an irregular rounded shape, is roughly polished, and has a small hole on one side. The gemstone's name, the Great Sumerian Spinel, comes from the ancient Hebrew city of Samaria in central Palestine, now located in northwestern Jordan. The city was built in the 9th century BC as the capital of the northern Jewish kingdom of Israel. According to legend, the gemstone once adorned the biblical golden calf. The Jews, fleeing Egypt in the 13th century BC, asked Aaron, Moses' brother, to make a golden idol to whom they offered prayers for Moses' return from Mount Sinai. Later, Moses descended from Sinai carrying the tablets containing the Ten Commandments revealed by Almighty God, and upon seeing his people worshipping the golden calf, ordered its destruction. The legend of the largest spinel's biblical origin was passed down through generations of the Persian royal family, and was recorded in the 19th century by a court physician. Like the Black Prince's ruby, the Sumerian spinel has a drilled hole, most likely so that it could be worn as a pendant, and, according to the legend, it was suspended from the golden calf's neck by this hole. In the past, 
this hole was filled with a diamond, but since then, the diamond has been removed. Of course, it is more likely that the world's largest spinel was either brought from India, plundered by the Persians, like many famous stones, or found in Afghanistan, and not earlier than the 17th century. The fact that the Great Sumerian Spinel lacks any inscriptions or engravings suggests that it is not as ancient as claimed. Until the 17th century, Eastern rulers had a custom of signing their most outstanding stones, and it is unlikely that the Spinel would have escaped such attention if it had indeed been in their possession for thousands of years. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it fascinating to learn about the captivating history of spinels and their place in royal collections around the world. How do you feel about this mineral? Which of the famous spinels we discussed did you find most intriguing? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends. Thank you.